is going on guys, Bridge Fusion here and today I'm with you for another video and today's video is a Minecraft tutorial of how to build a WWE stage. Now it is going to be the stage that I, they have been using since 2021. So the blocks you will need will be black concrete, black stained glass, stone brick slab, grey concrete but with the grey concrete it can be whatever colour you like. Iron bars, jungle trap doors, but once again, that one can be whatever colour you like. Oak button stairs, oak button stairs, oak button, and once again, whatever colour you like, and chain. So with this one, guys, it's going to be like basically a rough detail of what you can do, how to make the stage, how I make them. So it always depends with the sizing and whatnot on how to do it with... The arena that you're in so the way I'm gonna be making it is just gonna be like a little bit like on a borderline of how I make it so let's get straight into it so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're gonna go ten this way and then continuing from the block from a diagonal perspective you're gonna go one two three four five just like that and then with this one right here so once you've got the 10 there the 5 here you're gonna go an additional 1 2 3 4 so then this is gonna be a 5 right here because their ramp is quite small so we are gonna go back and line up with that one and then we're gonna go diagonally again and we're going to go 10 once more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it should look a little bit like that. So you've got 10 there. You've got, I believe, 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. And then you've got 5 going across. And then 5 on this side. And then 10 just over here. And that is going to be it for that part. And then we are going to be going back, let's say, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, once again, from this block, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to connect it up, going all the way down here to the end part of the stage. And then you're going to fill it all in with the black concrete so you do want to keep the black concrete there because that is the design that they do go with and then what we're going to do on everything that we just put down we are going to put down a row of black stained glass going all the way around the border that we just built so as i can see already this is going to be quite a small design but like i said it can be fitted to your arena how you like but this is basically how I do it so now what you're going to want to do is everywhere you see grass in here you're going to want to fill that with black concrete and then glass on top so I don't really need to show how to do that I'm going to just do it probably speed it up and then I'll be back with you for the next part And done so now once you've got all of that filled in which looks a little bit like this you're gonna get your stone brick slab and you're just gonna do a little part just right there because that's how like it looks more like a ramp and that is like the part that WWE do usually have sometimes this ramp is longer in some arenas sometimes it's shorter so we're gonna go with this one just for now so now what we're gonna do is get our black concrete, no sorry, our grey concrete. So once again, this is like going to be the design of the stage. So you can do it however you like. So go to where you see the ramp. The ramp should be in front of you. Then you can go to either side. And then you're going to go right on the edge and go one, two, three, and place one down. And then you're going to go to the other side and go one, two, three, and place it down there. And then what we're going to do is go one, two, 
just on the diagonal point and then one, two, three, just like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to go to the block that we just placed and we're going to go one, two with the diagonal and then one, two, three, just like that. So the stage is going to come off a little bit, but that is absolutely fine. So what you're going to want to do is bring a block just off the side, just like this and bring it down until it connects. So it should look a little bit like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up. So I'm not going to tell you a dimension how much to bring it up because it always depends, like I always say, on the stage that you are building. So for this video, I'm just going to bring it up another nine. So it's going to be 10 in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. So I'm going to do that for the entire stage like I said it's going to be a little bit small but it is absolutely fine because you can easily make this a little bit bigger for your stage that you will be building in your arena it is just a rough estimate of what you will be building but it's just like a little tips and tricks that I like to give you guys with my like knowledge of building arenas for I don't know 10 years <laughs> so yeah that is that part and then we're going to go up here and up again and then the next part will be the entrance way how to get into the arena well onto the stage basically so that is all up just like so just a little bit like that so now what you're going to want to do is go to the ramp and find the middle block so if you are doing this and making it on a bigger scale, make sure that you do have a odd number so you can have a middle block. So my ramp is a five going in between here. So I can go in between and we're going to go up one, two, three. So I'm going to go up three like that. And then you're just going to basically cut out another square and then it's going to be a five by three. So it's going to go up one, two, three. And it's going to go across one, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get our black concrete back out. And we're going to go one, two, and three. Just like that. So it's going to be additional three on there. And then once again, you're just going to fill it in with the glass. Just like so. And then you're going to get your grey concrete out. And then you're going to go up one on either side. It can be this side or this side. Because we are going to do a little box that looks a little bit like this. Just like so. And that is the little entrance way. So you can come out into the arena. And now what we're going to do. We're going to get our black concrete out. And behind all of the black concrete. Grey concrete. Sorry I'm getting so confused with all the colours. You're just going to replace the glass with your black concrete. So, once you've got all of them on the back, just like so, you might want to fill in this part as well. Once you've got the back part all filled out, you'll see the results of the arena once you look at it, like, at front, obviously. So, we're going to go out like this, replace that one, and just like that. So... When you look at it from this side, you won't see through the glass. So it's just going to look a little bit like that. And then to get to your um, your gorilla position, that's the one, you can just fill in the black concrete. So then that is where the superstars do walk on. So then they'll come out just like so. So it is almost done. Once again, with the big um, backdrop, you won't be able to see like anything behind it. So that is going to look a little bit like that. What you're going to want to do is get your iron bars. And then what you're going to do is either side, place one there. And then place it forward and place it forward again. So you're going to place one on the side. Just like this. And you're going to place one, two more on top. So then you can get rid of the back ones just like this and you can go as high as you need to so it goes all the way up 
I, I'd say about two or three more above the actual stage itself. So let's do that for this one as well. And that should be in line with that one. Yes. So, yep, they're all in line. And now what we're going to do, you're going to get the black concrete back out. And you're going to, not on the first one, but on the second iron bar, you're going to place a block. Just like so. And then what you're going to do. I always like to do it a three block. But because this is going to be a small stage. I'm going to leave it two. So one, two and then a block. And then once again one, two and then another block. And then one, two. And what I'm going to do actually is put it up just that one more. So it looks a little bit like that. So like I usually say I like to keep... A three block, but if I was in a smaller arena, I will make it leaving it two just right here. And then if we go all the way over here, we're going to do the exact same. So it's going to be leaving one block. Always make sure that there is one block at the bottom. And then we are going to go up a two, just like so. And then two again. And then should be the potentially last one, two, just like that. So that is that part done. So now we are going to add the jungle trap doors. Just for my OCD, they've got to make sure that they all are on the same like pattern going up. Because say if with Minecraft, you can put them up there, but then they are different. So my OCD, they've got to make sure they're always going up just like so. This part can take a little while sometimes because trying to get it on the iron bars... And as you see, when you do, like, close it or open it, I don't know what the term is with Minecraft, the iron bars do attach, so that's how they do look that little bit bigger. So we're going to go all the way up on this side as well, and we're going to go all the way up to the top of the light, like, rigging, whatever you want to call it. And boom, there you are. That is done, just like that. You're just going to then add your oak buttons on here so you can define that it is lights. So then it should look a little bit like that. And then on the top, you're just going to put the chain link in and that can go all the way to the top of the ceiling of your arena. So that is pretty straightforward. So once you've done it on that side, you're going to do it once again on this side with this one. And once you got all that in, guys, it should look a little bit like this. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to get our iron bars. We're going to go to the very bottom one. And we're going to press one there. Put Go one to the side. And two. So once again, it's gonna you're going to press, press. You're going to press one on this side. One here. And then you're going to be left with this one just right here. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then you're going to get rid of those two. And then you're going to do the exact same with this one. So you're going to go one, two, three. Just like that. And you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to go one, two, three. And then you're going to be left with these ones. And then what you're going to literally do is copy the exact same thing you have done with these lights over here. So they're going to go up to the same height. We will be destroying some stuff in a minute. But just for easiness, this is how it's going to look. So these are going to be all with the black concrete on here with the lights and with the trap doors. So I'll be back with you once all that is done. And boom, there it is. That is all done now. Well, sort of. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we're, you can start either on the left or right. I'm going to start on the right. What you're going to want to do is you're going to see that these are like all the same height. And in WWE, they don't usually do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy some of it. So 
we're going to miss this block. So we're going to take out one of them. So then that looks a little bit like that. Remember, you always want the iron bar just at the bottom there. So for this one, this is going to be destroyed as well. So you're going to miss like one of the black blocks, black, black concrete. And it's going to look a little bit like that compared to that one. Once again, I know I'm keep um, repeating myself, but this will be different to everybody's arena, depending how big you are building your stage. So yeah, let's get that one all added in and well, more destroyed. So it looks a little bit like that. So we are almost done. We got one more bit to do and I've got to admit, this is definitely the hardest part. So what we're gonna do we are going to go right in the middle and place an iron bar there and we're going to go back one just like this and then we are going to be doing that once again but we are going to leave it a two gap so you're going to go here and go one two and then leave a gap but bring the iron bar back and then one two and then bring it back and then we're going to go one two and with this one, you're going to bring it back twice. Amazing. So in total on this side should be three. So once again, we're going to go one, two, and then bring it back. One, two, bring it back. One, two, and then bring it back. So all of them should have a two block gap. So this one's got a two block. And this one as well, as you can see from here so it looks a little bit like that for now so now what we're gonna do we are gonna be bringing them up just a little bit like this but like at a diagonal on that one that is the best way to describe it so we're gonna go up on them and I'm gonna go one up again two up again three up again four up and five up and six up and seven uh, up and eight how is that looking and i'd say up and nine and that should be grand there we are so you're gonna go up and across up nine that's what i'm doing on this one so let's get all of them filled in And boom, it should look a little bit like this. So now what we're going to do, we are going to try and find the middle part. So this should be going up nine if I do, if I have calculated it right once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's actually ten on that one for some reason. But that is absolutely fine. So I believe it's gone up nine here, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it has. So I will admit I have gone up one too many. So I will be just destroy the top layer up here because you want to make sure that you got it on an odd number on that one. So we're gonna go. We're gonna start with this one, and we're gonna go one, two three four and then it be on the fifth so it's going to go a little bit like that so find your middle ground and then put your block just right there and you're going to do the same for each and every single one just like this and this one's going to be a little bit different obviously to these ones it's going to be really tricky to show you guys so i do apologize if it is more complicated than it should be but like I say, if you need any help, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see the best way I can help you. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to leave a block of iron and then place a dark block, your black block, just like this. So you're going to leave a block and place a block just like this. Once again, just like that. And just like so. And just like missing each one just like this so let's destroy that one that's gonna go right here and 
with this, you're gonna just copy it for each and every single one. So it's just gonna all go like this. And almost done. And I will be adding probably some more iron bars on this one I have seen, but I'll be able to show you that just like as a little tip or trick when you do come down to building this one. So let's get rid of that one and that one. I do feel like this stage is a lot more complicated than it should be. So I do apologize if like, if it is complicated. So got one more strand to do. That is this one right here. And then, oh, destroying the wrong blocks now. And let's put that one in last few just like so so it should look a little bit like that for now so what you're gonna do you're gonna find your middle one just like this and you're gonna put an extra block of iron bars on top so you're just gonna put it on top and then go out one just like that and then we are gonna fill it in with the trap doors so we're going to fill it in. It's going to be like a zigzag basically because of Minecraft. And you're going to go all the way until you are finished on this side. And then you're going to do it for the exact same on the other side. Just like we've been doing with the other iron bars. It is going to be for the side ones as well. Well for the diagonal ones. So it's going to look a little bit like this. And then you're going to do the other side without placing it in the incredibly wrong place. And then that is almost done on this one. And then just like the others, you're going to like miss out one. But make sure you still got like iron bars on that one. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So that looks a little bit like that. And then you can add your buttons. On the front for the lights on the camera on the lights sorry <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore so once you've done that all you need to do is destroy the next few blocks just like that so you they lose a layer on top and then you're gonna destroy the layer on the bottom so it looks a little bit like that so this one is going to be one, two, three, four, five in the middle. Because basically what you want to do is like, it's like a little diamond shape. That's what you're going to do. So it goes down like that. That is like the best way to describe it. So then once you got that like that, I'm going to destroy this one. And this one right here as well. So I'm going to keep these two actually the same size so you're going to destroy the black concrete and the iron bars just like that so it should look a little bit like that i know this part is very complicated so i do really apologize i'm trying my absolute best to be showing you so once you've got this one in this is going to have three blocks of black concrete so is that one but then on the sides is going to be just the one. So I do usually like having like it all going down. I can't say that word so I'm not going to even try. Um, I do like them all going down. But these two do have to be the same size. Just because of the like size of the build. So your final step will be adding in the trapdoors, buttons and chain. So let's get the trapdoors added in. I will get this bit speed it up so let's get the trapdoors and there you have it there is the other lighting rigs just in there just like so and then the final part will be adding in the chain link so you're gonna go to the very start of any of your like pillars because you're just gonna want to put them just like right at the front there. Oh, I'm destroying blocks. I don't want to destroy. But yeah, you're going to go right to the edge of your build. And you're just going to 
replace the chain link going to the very top of your arena right to the roof just right there so you're going to do that for all of them and that is going to be the front part because we will need to add some more chains at the back but that is going to look like that just for now and then let's go to this one going to get all of these added in at the front because it does look a lot better once the chain link is in because or else it just looks like it's floating to be honest and my opinion I do think it looks a lot better than iron bars on that one so just like we've done at the front with the chain you're going to do it at the back as well because it won't be floating in the diagonal it would be because of physics and gravity basically <laughs> so yeah let's go up here and keep a lookout because sometimes you could accidentally place a chain like that and I've done that a few times and I didn't see it until the recording which I was very annoyed about just like that see it can be very easily done especially if you are in a dark arena so make sure that doesn't happen for you so yeah we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go all the way up and then last two and once again guys I do apologize on this one if it wasn't that clear I will like give a hand like if you got if you need any tips or anything in the comment section below I'll be happy to do that but yeah this part is definitely the hardest part but nevertheless guys that is my tutorial once again the sizes that I did give you don't have to use you can use it however you like to make sure that it does fit your arena and all your like any part of your stadium if you're using it for a stadium but yes i really do hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure you do smash that like button and if you haven't already please make sure that you do subscribe and if you'd like to check out my other minecraft tutorials make sure that you do check out the playlist link down in the description below where you can see all of the good stuff right there but yes, once again guys, I've been Bridge Fusion. I really do hope you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Peace out guys.